How's it going? I'm here with another GM mode, and we're going to kick off a new series, so let's get to picking the team. Now, I was deciding between two teams, the Arizona Coyotes and the Vancouver Canucks. And there's one team, or both those teams have something about them that I just really liked. Vancouver, I could do a full rebuild, but that would take too long. So Arizona, they already got the prospects in place. They're on the upswing of their rebuild. Like, they're starting to climb the hill, and I think they still need a few more pieces. So I'd love to use them, and that's who I decided to go with. So we're going to go with 10 years again. Uh, difficulty Superstar, Hardcore. Um, injuries, okay. So last time... Uh, I started with injuries on and decided to turn them off just because managing the lines just took up so much time. Uh, I've decided to just keep them on and anytime uh, somebody gets hurt, I'm just going to place them in the line uh, and edit out uh, everything that I've done. So, and I'll obviously say what I did, but I will not be showing every single little line change that I need to make. Uh, auto rotate goalies off, and I think that about does it. Is everything right? Uh, yeah, should be. All right. So, uh, the Phoenix or the Arizona Coyotes are a really good team right now. They got really good prospects. Actually, I can't say they're a really good team. They're a good team right now. They got really good prospects, and it looks like in the coming years they're going to be one of the better teams in the West. So, right now, I just need to figure out who they got on the roster, what we will need for the future, and uh, figure out just everybody's names and stuff so I don't keep pronouncing them wrong. Because Dallas, ooh, man, that was bad. Uh, but let's take a look at everybody who's on their roster right now. Uh, just kind of get, like, player introductions and all that stuff. So, uh, actually, what am I doing? I don't want to go into the system. Uh, all right, centers, who do we got down the middle? All right, we got Martin Hansel, uh, Antoine Vermette, Kyle Chipchura, and Brad Richardson. Uh, none of these guys are really prospects. Martin Hansel is, he's not a number one center. He's a great center on a great contract right now. 3.1 million, I love that for 87 overall. But I do not think he will be the person to take us to a Stanley Cup. And in the system right now, we got... Alright, uh, Shineman. Who's this guy? I've never heard of him. Brennan Shineman. Bottom six, uh, medium potential. Uh, hopefully you could grow into being a second, maybe a third line forward. Uh, I don't know. But the big one right here, Dylan Strom, picked third overall in last year's draft. He's got medium elite potential. This will be the guy that takes us to a Stanley Cup. So, but he's only uh, 71 years old. So, he's still got quite a bit of growth right there. Uh, God, that he's only got a AHL potential. I'm not going to worry about him. Dauphin, uh, I had him in Dallas. I like what he can do. I've seen him grow when he's uh, when he's on a computer-controlled team. He always gets really good offensively, and he can put up 30, maybe 40 goals while playing on the second line. I don't know if we'll see that same growth because we didn't uh, once I got him on my team in Dallas. Maybe that's just because I used him wrong. But I think he could become a solid second or maybe third line forward for us just like he was before. Uh, Merkley. I don't know this guy. Nick Merkley picked in the first round last year, 30th overall. Uh, I don't know too much about him. Uh, so, yeah, there's a, there's his stats. Maybe he could become a second line forward for us. I'm not exactly sure. He's only 18 years old. He's got plenty of time to grow. So, And, and Ryan McInnes. Is he Al McInnes' son? I wonder. Picked in the second round in 2014. He's 19. Uh, he could become a solid... Uh, second, maybe third line forward for us. He's got high bottom six potential. So, all right, let's look at the left wingers. Obviously, you got Max Domi right here, son of Ty Domi. Obviously, he's a fantastic player, having a, 
uh, an amazing rookie season right now. I don't think he'll win the Calder. Still hoping for my boy Larkin to win it. But uh, look at those puck skills. They're off the chart. He's a fantastic player picked in the first round a couple years ago. A lot of their core group of guys on Arizona are very young. And they're trying to develop them through their own system rather than making trades for uh, other pieces. So I really like that. He's got a good offensive awareness, decent shot. I'm looking for him to be uh, our like uh, first line 90 overall player for us. Even though he's got top six uh, potential, I assume that will rise if he has a good season. Uh, Tobias Ryder, same thing. He's got high top six potential. Uh, he's got really good puck skills, good offensive awareness. He's a solid player, um, but he's only a depth forward right now. I don't like that too much. Uh, solid player. I don't know if he will become uh, our uh, top line guy because Max Domi is here. And he's 22 years old, so he's a couple years older. And he's kind of be, he's probably going to be in his shadow, but look for him to be an amazing second line guy. Hopefully. Uh, Boyd Gordon, he is 31. I don't like him. Uh, Martin Nuke. Ooh, who's this guy? I don't know this guy either. He, uh, drafted by Phoenix Coyotes when they are still Phoenix. Uh, solid player, but he still needs to grow. He's only 77 uh, years old. I don't like that he's a sniper, though. Uh, he's only got bottom six potential, so I don't know if he'll stay on the roster or not. And then we got the all-star, John Scott. Uh, <laughs> I would love to, love to use this guy, but I don't think that'll be uh, possible. And in the system, uh, who do we have? Jeffrey's 27. Cunningham, he's 25. I don't know if this guy will become anything. He's a left wing, two-way forward, bottom six potential. But he's 25, so I don't know how much more he's going to grow. Defensive stats don't look too amazing. Uh, Brendan Pierlini, Brendan Pierlini, excuse me, uh, left wing sniper, there's another left wing sniper for us, uh, first round in 2014, uh, looks like a solid player, but, uh, again, I don't know how he'll fit into our roster, because we already got a few good left wingers and prospects, uh, Christian Dvorak. Uh, another left wing sniper, but the, he has bomb six potential. I don't like that. Uh, I don't think he'll stick around on our team, but I would love for him to make me wrong. Uh, let's go back to the main roster and look at right wingers. Uh, Michael Bodker, or Mikhail Bodker, however, however you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's Mikhail. Uh, fantastic player, but same thing as Martin Hansel. He will not be our top guy when we win a Stanley Cup. And yes, I'm saying when, because I know we will with this team. But Michael Bacher might be on the second line, maybe even third line, uh, depending on how all of our prospects grow and everything. Uh, we got the Ageless Wonder and Shane Doan. Uh, fantastic player. He's looking to have a 20-goal season. He's 38 years old. Uh, he's almost there, too. Uh, we got Steve Downey. Uh bottom line guy he's got decent def defensive stats uh not too much about him but the big guy right here anthony duclair right wing sniper he's a third line scorer right now but he's got really good puck skills he's got good offensive awareness he's got a solid shot so he he will be a really good player for us i don't like how they gave him top nine potential but i think he can become a better player than what his potential makes him out to be uh, I think he could become uh, like 86 overall player. Again, I don't know if that'll be enough to crack the top line, so we might have to look elsewhere for a right wing. But he should become a very solid player and a good point uh, point getter for us. Henrik Samuelson. Uh, I don't know anything about this guy. Uh, drafted the first round in 2012. Uh, two way forward, uh, top nine potential. That's all I know about this guy. I don't know anything else. So, looks like a solid player. Uh, Vitaly and Schwartz, probably not. You got, well, Vitaly's done growing. Schwartz, probably not going to grow that much. Thomas, who's this guy? Christian Thomas, another right wing sniper. This team's got a lot of snipers. Uh, he's got bottom 
bottom six potential, and he's a sniper. He's 23, so I don't know if he'll make the roster uh, at all during his career. Garland, uh, he's got high bottom six potential. He's another sniper. Jesus, Connor Garland. How many snipers are on this roster? Uh, if his potential were to grow, maybe I could see him being on the on the team, but I don't know how his future stands uh, in Arizona. And you got Christian Fith, uh, Fisher, uh, right wing power forward with low top six potential, drafted in the second round last year. Um, I like this. He's a power forward, so with all the snipers on the roster, he might add a little grit. Uh, I'd say he has the best chance of making the roster uh, in the future over uh, Garland or Thomas and maybe even Henrik Samuelson. But he's only 18, so he's got plenty of time to grow. And let's take a look at the defensemen. Obviously, Oliver Eichmann Larson. He's one of the best defensemen in the game right now. Uh, and he's stuck on Arizona. I know that sounds bad, but if he were on Dallas, he'd be murdering it right now. But he's on Arizona, so we got him for the future. He's 24 years old, signed for a long time. And then uh, you got his supporting cast, Grossman, Zimnick, McCallick. Uh, Michael Stone, uh, Carl Kalnaughton, Connor Murphy, Dahlbeck, Elliott. Uh, obviously, we got a lot of uh, like depth defensemen here. Uh, Grossman, I like his defense. That's about it. Zebedek McCulloch, again, good defenseman, like defensive defenseman. Michael Stone, same thing. Had him in Dallas. Uh, Kevin Kalnaughton, offensive defenseman. He's got top four potential. Uh, but he's 25 years old, so I don't know if he'll exactly reach that. But uh, he will probably be on the roster anyway. Uh, we got Connor Murphy. He's got good defense. Uh, I like it. Class Dahlbeck. Uh, I don't know too much about this guy. He's 76 overall. He's got top six potential. Uh, but he's a minor top two defenseman. So I don't know how much he's going to grow. Uh, he's definitely going to be in the minors, though. And Stefan Elliott. Uh, he's got AHL top two potential, and I don't think he will ever be on our roster. Uh, and in the system for prospects, who do we have? Nobody. We have nothing for prospects. Um, I got a couple people in mind that would love to draft, <laughs> like uh, Ek or not Ekblad, uh, Sean Day, uh, and uh, Luke Green who we could improve our prospects with, but we'd have to do bad for us to be able to draft them. And I'm still deciding whether I should try and tank the first year or be a good team. Uh, we got Mike Smith as a starter. He's 85 years old. He's 33 years old. So uh, we need to find somebody who can be an elite goalie for us. Obviously having uh, a good tandem is really well, but I believe in having one extremely good goalie and having a capable backup. And uh, Luis Domingue, I don't know how to pronounce that last name, uh, but he's only got backup potential, so he'll probably be our backup in the future uh, while well, Mike Smith is gone. So in the system, uh, we don't really have any prospects. Anders Lindback in real life, I'd still call him a prospect. Because goalies take longer to, to develop. I mean, look at Tim Thomas. He didn't have a breakout year until he was like 33. Um, Langhammer has only got backup potential. He's 21, so it could improve. Uh, but don't look for it too. And he, it's not going to jump him up to an elite goalie. It'll go to fringe starter next. Um, we got Tuttle. He's an AHL starter. And Hill. Uh, he's got medium backup potential. So, we don't really have any goalie prospects. We got no defensive prospects. That's how the roster looks. And uh, next time we can kick this off. But I got a couple questions. Uh, is there any trades that I should make? And if so, just let me know. Uh, if not, uh, then we can just continue on with the people that we have and see how it goes from there. Uh, so, until next time, then, I'll see ya.